All right, moving over to the round of 16 of the Champions League. And uh, obviously a few teams, has Man City, for example, one of them. Man City, obviously the favourites uh, to win here, 4.05. Liverpool, um, who are really hot this season, uh, top of the Premier League. Uh, they are not in the top four, uh, but obviously they've been pitted against Bayern Munich. Um, so obviously start with Man City. They're the favourites. They're priced 4.05. Man City can sometimes stumble. I know they're incredibly good uh, against Schalke. It's an. It's, I, I fully expect them to qualify, but to win and the price of four point zero five. Would you put your money on that, Martin? No, I think those odds look a bit short. Mm. They have been short throughout the whole season, to be honest. They were the heavy favourites to win this competition even before they got yeah. a comfortable draw against Schalke. Uh, I mean, they have been a phenomenal team in the Premiership. But as we know, that doesn't always translate to European success. Uh, but I would say that they struggled in the Premiership in their first season under Guardiola, and then they just destroyed everyone in the second season. Whereas they struggled Champions League a bit last season, it might be another case where they just come out and destroy everyone again. They have got just a wealth of amazing midfielders and attacking players. I think they, they deserve to be the favourites, especially when you look at um, the draw that they've got against Schalke, who mm. are now 250 to 1. Got a very good draw there. <laughs> yes. Um, I, but still, I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on them at those short odds just because I think they do have a few problems defensively that could um, go against them in this competition. Yeah, I definitely Man City, Barcelona, and Real Madrid have I think got amazing draws. Uh, do you agree there, Alex? And is there a, another draw that you would add to that list? I don't think that Real Madrid has an easy draw against the uh, Ajax. Uh, Ajax, uh, a great side, a young side with uh, uh, adding some experienced players uh, there. Very, very great, a very, very good team, both uh, defending and attacking. Yes, you will say free free against Bayern Munich, but that was the last uh, game of the match. But they were very determined uh, to win it mm -hmm. and to take the first spot. They didn't, but they moved on. I would say that Real Madrid will have some issues there. Uh, it's a competition uh, between uh, right now three English uh, sides uh, who will take on three German sides in the last uh, 16. So we have uh, Tottenham versus Dortmund, Liverpool versus Bayern Munich, and Schalke versus Manchester City. So uh, uh, I think that uh, English sides. Um, will have 2-1 after this. Uh, will beat uh, German sides 2-1. I am seeing uh, Borussia Dortmund uh, taking care of Tottenham there. But uh, um. it, it's an interesting, interesting um, uh, tie, draw. Uh, Manchester City, the easiest match. Mm. A huge reward for them winning mm. uh, the group uh, um, uh, and, and avoiding uh, important teams uh, uh, from the first place in other groups. Um, Schalke finished uh, runner uh, runners up in a, in a uh, very easy group with Porto in the first place. So it shouldn't be a lot of trouble for Manchester City. Maybe on the road, but I don't think so. Uh, I think that City should be able to uh, uh, to win both legs with uh, uh, all of their uh, players uh, coming uh, back from injuries and being 100% fit uh, till uh, till the the hour of the match in in february uh let's hope that nobody will get injured uh, from any important yeah. team in europe yeah and i have to say um uh, people totally agreeing with you um as well william opono ix all the way but real madrid will be a hard nut to crack um now obviously uh, dortmund have been another sort of stellar team this season uh they go to wembley there tottenham um, for the first round. Uh, Martin, do you think that Tottenham will be a tough nut to crack or is this going to be... Would you put your money basically on Dortmund to qualify? No, I would not put my money on Dortmund to qualify. Um, I think they're, two, they're both two very good teams. As I've said on our mm. Best Bets video, Dortmund are my favourite team to watch in Europe this season. They've been playing some fantastic um, attacking football. 
But I wouldn't bet against Tottenham at the moment. I think they've been grinding out results in really good fashion. They struggled at the start of their Champions League group, but then they bounced back, beat Inter, got the draw they needed away at Barcelona. Yeah. Don't really like the idea of betting against them when yeah. they've got players like Harry Kane, Deli Ali, Christian Eriksen. Uh, I think it's I think it's 50-50 for me this one. And I would bet on Dortmund if um, I didn't think that they might prioritise the Bundesliga because they, wow. I don't know if they've got the squad to go for both competitions. It would be huge for them to hold off Bayern Munich and go on and win the Bundesliga. But they might have to sacrifice that if they want a real run deep into the Champions League. So I think they might have a choice of going for one or the other. And that could play into Tottenham's hands because by February, Tottenham might be a little bit further behind in the title race and really go for this one. So maybe I'll see how both teams are doing by February, I think. Interesting. What do you think about that, Alex? It's uh, another thing. It's important to know that Bundesliga have a win, have a bigger winter break, meaning that uh, this weekend uh, is uh, the last round. There are two week. Uh, in the midweek is one round, and in the at the end of this week is another round. And after that, till 18 of January, it's a is the winter break in Germany. And in Premier League, we don't have that, right? Uh, Maybe one week, uh, but they are playing also the FA Cup, other matches, uh, and so on. So we know that the English teams mm. are playing the, the most uh, matches uh, in the entire uh, top five. No, uh, I know. It's, we've got a European few double leagues. weeks. A few double weeks this Christmas. I'll be eating exactly, my turkey plus double and filming weeks, the plus Premier everything. League punter show. <laughs> exactly. So uh, it's important how fit the two teams uh, will be. Now, some someone will say that, uh, yeah, but Tottenham will play and they will have uh, matches going on. And that's a good thing. On the other side, you will say that Dortmund will have three weeks of break and they will uh, um, res uh, uh, regain their batteries, you know. Uh, but uh, it's really important uh, how much the difference on points uh, it will be uh, between Dortmund and uh, Bayern Munich. Now they are nine points. They will try to uh, enter the winter break with nine points. They have two uh, matches, tough, tough ones, both of them. Uh, they have a way at Dusseldorf, who are desperate to win points. Last place in the standings there. Not exactly last place, but uh, there. And um, fighting relegation and home with Mürgen Gladbach. Um, I think that... Uh, 1.83 uh, to qualify for both sides doesn't uh, it is not is not okay. I think that yeah. we should wait and uh, play the matches how they are. I'm I expecting uh, both uh, games to be high uh, scoring affairs. I was just going to say yeah. that as well. Goals I think on the cards. I think that's sort of the direction that you can go for. Um, another one actually if you're sticking on the theme of goals, Roma Porto. I think that, that could be a, a high-scoring affair across both legs. Uh, do you agree with that, Alex? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I think that many <laughs> matches will be high-scoring affairs uh, uh, sure. in, uh, in the round of 16 because uh, we have so many uh, great attacking sides there. Uh, not Atletico versus Juventus, but uh, that's maybe... That's just the, what I was going to say as well. Yeah, that would be one, I think. I think, um, yeah, I don't know. Atletico Juventus, I def that is definitely a key match up there. Liverpool, Bayern, I also think. I think those, well, and to Tottenham, Tottenham Dortmund as well. Uh, but let's go with Atletico Madrid Juventus. Uh, two stellar defences and obviously Juventus improving their attack this season. Um, can can you call uh, um, the one to qualify from that match, Alex? Yes, I can call uh, the one to qualify, and uh, but uh, the, the odds are very low for Juventus to qualify at one point five seven. Um, I think that Ronaldo is the key to this match. I think that uh, he's the player to make the difference. I think it's very important that Juventus are playing the second match on their turf and uh, not uh, uh, in Spain. Uh, I think that they will keep it tight uh, in the first match and avoid uh, conceding goals. Um, under 2.5 goals, we don't have, we, do, we have under total goals under over, yeah, under 2.5 yeah, goals 1. in 6, the 6. first match. 1.67, come on, you must be joking here. <laughs> That's my bet. Yeah, 
we don't like that. So uh, <laughs> maybe for a draw, I would go also for a draw in this one. Why not? I mm. think that uh, a draw at uh, 3.25, I think that it has plenty of value. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, we saw it was funny because um, in my office, it's uh, mainly US sports and everybody came running up to me about the the huge Real Madrid loss. And, and um, again, Juventus against young boys. Uh, now, obviously, they had qualified. And I was sort of saying, nah, it's, it's not so much of a shock. Maybe the fact that they didn't even score maybe is a bit more of a shock. Um, but, you know, things like Juventus you, losing to young boys, do you think that will play in their mind? Oh, there's just too much time that will have passed uh, from that. This is the next stage. They're moving on and it's a new challenge. Um, no, I don't think that will play on their mind at all. They were already qualified. They didn't need to win. They yeah. rested players. Wouldn't factor in, I don't you think. You still uh, just would have same... thought, wouldn't you, that they'd have beaten young boys. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Killed but when a few you, people, when you Zachers, I tell you. I had a ton of messages like Juventus and the crying emoji. And it was just like, and I'm like, I know. Luckily, I didn't, play, I never... luckily I didn't play Real Madrid only because I, I, I just really couldn't find any value. Otherwise, I'd have played something. Thank goodness. No, you should just don't, I know. don't bet on a team that doesn't need to win. I don't know. bet on a team that's already qualified. It's just, there's no, yeah. there's no motivation for them to win whatsoever. Yeah. It was like we were just saying with Barcelona, they didn't need to play Tottenham. So they rested all their best players and Tottenham sneaked the draw against Barcelona's C team and got through. Just, yeah. uh, just leave them alone. But they'll be they'll be ready and well up for this by the time it comes around. Juventus should be ridiculously far ahead in the Serie A title race by then as well, and they can put all their efforts yeah, exactly. into this tie. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're we'll we'll definitely like uh, come January, uh, get together, see where everyone's positioned on the table and things like that, and uh, have a look and especially of how the odds have changed as well. Speaking languages, I, I think. Sorry, Natalie. I think that 1,000% uh, Martin is right there. Uh, Juventus, till that time, there will be maybe 15 points yeah. uh, clear at the top of the table. <laughs> they are beating everyone mm. in Serie A. Maybe, I think that they dropped just uh, points just in one match, uh, if I remember correct. Uh, but I think that this is what they are doing now. Go, 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 go. And after that, uh, focus uh, on Champions League and uh, leave Syria aside. Of course, they will not leave Syria aside because they will not uh, meet uh, uh, Atletico Madrid uh, every week in Syria. Uh, they, they have maybe four or five teams that they are going 100% uh, to compete with them. Napoli, Inter, Ace Roma, uh, Atalanta uh, and... Uh, uh, Lazio, for example, but uh, after that they have Spal, they have uh, Cagliari. Of course, they will beat everyone. So they will not, if they go 15 points ab uh, are clear at the top of the table till the start of the knockout stages in Champions League. I don't think that they will lose 15 points till the end of the season in Serie A, uh, despite focusing uh, on uh, on Champions League. And I think that they are priced correctly at 7.5 because of the draw. Yeah. Okay. Um, next one, uh, Liverpool versus Bayern Munich. And uh, Longbo here is saying uh, he, uh, Juve, Bayern, City, PSG, Barca, Dortmund, uh, Real are my tips. Um, I don't think it's as cut, as, uh, cut and dry. I think Liverpool are going to give this a, a, a real good shot here. They're not obviously in the top four favourites because they're against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich, obviously, they've got the title race if they're in it. Um, but uh, I don't know. Could Liverpool win, Martin? Uh, uh, very much so for me, yeah. I think Liverpool have been brilliant this season. They haven't lost a single game in the Premiership. We already knew they had a stellar attack with Salah, Firmino, mm. Mane. And they've gone out and bought Alisson, who's a good goalkeeper. They're a lot more solid at the back this season with Van Dijk in the middle. Uh, they've only conceded seven Premiership goals in 17 games. Uh, whereas... Bayern Munich are floundering in Bundesliga. They're already, I think, nine points behind Borussia Dortmund, who they lost to. They've still got an exceptional midfield, Bayern Munich, and mm. uh, Lewandowski can still turn it on. But I think they're creaking a little bit at the back. And Jurgen Klopp knows this team very well. He was a bit of a thorn in their side during his time at Dortmund. Yeah. I think he'll relish the opportunity to take the game to them and uh, knock them out of Europe. I think I think Liverpool can do it. I Ooh. bet on them to win the first round, uh, to win the first leg. I think they can. I think they can claim this scalp here. Yeah, I'm going for Liverpool. 
Yeah. Well, um, this, uh, 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 yeah, uh, David saying uh, Bayern having a down year. Um, where did I read the comment? It just moved. But uh, it said, I think it was something about um, uh, Liverpool to qualify, says speaking uh, languages. Oh, Sean Mack, Bayern will have their stuff sorted by the time that this tie comes around. Uh, this is the tie that might see penalties. What do you think, do you Alex? Think- do you think that it's so easy to integrate a player from January till February inside the team? I don't think so. So uh, I think that Bayer will uh, will make some transfers in the January transfer window. Again, I repeat, uh, even if they take star players, I don't know. Let's say that they will take Neymar, for example, which will not happen. But I'm just giving an example. He will. <laughs> he cannot play against uh, Liverpool because he already played uh, uh, with uh, uh, PSG in Champions League. So he cannot play uh, for a second team same uh, same season in Champions League. So I don't think that Bayer will have their um, their problems fixed till uh, February. Uh, we might see a new coach uh, for uh, Bayern Munich, Bayer Munich uh, till February. Nico Kovac might be sacked till that time. Uh, but I think that uh, uh, Mourinho will get sacked first. Um, Liverpool will be without Virgil van Dijk in the first mm-hmm. leg at home against Bayern Munich. And it's more important that Bayern Munich will play uh, the second leg uh, on their turf. Yeah. I wish Liverpool will move on uh, because uh, yeah. I, I'm a fan of Liverpool and I'm a fan of Dortmund. I love uh, attacking football. Yeah. I love uh, uh, exciting matches. Uh, I love too. this. I love real football. I don't... I. And Bayer this season are very disappointing, you know, very, very disappointing. So I cannot see nothing else than Liverpool with uh, their fighting spirits to move on. And uh, most of all, Klopp, you know that uh, uh, he he was uh, uh, coaching uh, Dortmund a few years ago and he played many matches against Bayern Munich. He knows them, he knows their philosophy, he knows uh, what to expect. Of course, now that they have a new uh, coach, but he knows very, very good the players there. So I'm expecting Liverpool to move on. Yeah. I tell you one thing, though, uh, look, just looking at the comments and things, um, you know, uh, Leo Mack, I worry Liverpool are, are all in to win the Premier League this season. This might be a distraction. Um, Longbow, I think Bayern's current squad is strong enough to beat Liverpool. They have exceptional mentality and experience. Um, but others thinking that Liverpool, uh, Liverpool will win. So definitely a lot of people here on both sides of the fence. Uh, interesting stuff. Um, I tell you, though, um, Obviously, there's other markets as well, rather than just who's going to win. Uh, For example, nationality of the winner being England, 2.62. I'm not as confident as football is coming home, Martin, as I am with the Europa League. (laughs) I don't know. Are you as confident? Are you going to bet the price of 2.62 that we're going to bring home both the Europa League trophy and the Champions League trophy? No, I don't think so, I'm afraid. (laughs) Um, I normally like this market because you can bet on Spain and you get Real Madrid, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. It's an amazing bet. It's coming for the last four years. Um, And they are are 2.25 this time around. But I don't think I'm going to bet on Spain either, just because Atletico have drawn against Juventus, which is very difficult. Real Madrid are a shadow of their former selves. And Barcelona haven't made it past the quarterfinals recently. I think it's a, it's it's an interesting bet. I can see why people would take it because you get um you get Liverpool a few and countries Man in City. one bet. Yeah. Yeah, you get I mean yeah, you get a few teams, you get Tottenham or a dark horse. Um you you're basically I think if you're doing that you're basically betting on Man City and <laughs> Liverpool. You're not really thinking much about Man United in that and uh I don't Man think Tottenham are the champions <laughs> either. So I just I just I'm going to avoid that market I think and just look at who's going to actually win it because I don't think there's the value in that market that you sometimes got in previous seasons, unfortunately. And, and uh, let's go to the previous discussion from the previous weeks uh, about the money uh, from the Premier League and about the money from the Champions League. Uh, we know that the Premier League champions will uh, get more, uh, a lot more than the Champions League winners. Uh, also, second place in the Premier League, I think that they are uh, winning more than the uh, Premier, uh, Champions League winners. So, um, Liverpool and Manchester City, uh, let let me say that they have 5% more uh, um, 
they want 5% more to, to win the Premier League than to win Champions League. Exactly like you said uh, five minutes ago, Natalie, it's important uh, how these teams uh, will uh, sit uh, uh, before the, the, Premier, the, the Champions League matches. What will be the difference uh, of points in, mm. uh, in their domestic leagues, you know? But again, Bayern Munich are... Um, Five points, uh, nine points behind uh, uh, Dortmund. So yeah. they will clearly try to uh, um, to close that gap uh, on on the leaders. Uh, on the other side, Liverpool and Manchester uh, City go head to head there uh, to, till the end of the season. Maybe many surprises will happen now in uh, in the Christmas time, but I don't expect many of them. But it's really important to see them uh, before the first uh, leg and to talk about it more. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and uh, we'll leave it at that. But uh, uh, Anne S, Juve or Barca are favourites, um, I reckon. Um, especially as well when you're talking about um, uh, their sort of priorities to their league, where do their priorities lie? You know, you've got Juventus who is so clear up front. They're just like, we got this one. Now let's focus. And that's really a strong argument uh, to look at that sort of like lovely, uh, juicy Juventus price at 1.75. Um, but yes, very interesting <laughs> indeed. And like you said, there's quite a bit of time between now, you know, which teams, Premier League, obviously, there's a lot of matches. Um, and then you've got the Bundesliga, obviously, that, that have got uh, more of a break. So a um, lot of things to consider uh, in the lineups. But I tell you what, it is very exciting stuff indeed. What about... What about Manchester United, Natalie? <laughs> you, you didn't mention nothing about them. <laughs> um, well, actually, I think Anes said it quite right, right at the beginning. Can't believe PSG is priced 2.2. Is it 2.2 at Manchester yes. United? 2.15, yes. 2.15. Completely agree with you there, Anne S. Um, Mbappe, Neymar, Cavani up against Bai, Smalling and Jones. Smalling. What a matchup that's going to be. Young. Smalling maybe, and Jones. And maybe Yang also. <laughs> I think Manchester Young. United need to focus on the domestic it's league right now. Um, yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot of value in match betting. PSG, just the straight PSG win looks like a great bet. Yeah, no, exactly. What are, what are they to qualify? Oh, uh, there'll be yeah, minutes. I'm bringing but, it up. Um, I'm just pulling it up right now. But just well, to yeah, win, PS one to win away. Five. PSG 1.29 to qualify <laughs> against Manchester United. Yes, but... Uh, hey, listen, with, uh, Mourinho Patrick could be though, out Patrick and uh, it could be a different team that we're looking at. So might be a good idea to hold off on that bet. You never know. Hold your horses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who's going to win the Champions League? You have to say one team before we Juventus. Sign uh, I'm going to go ba I'm going Barcelona. Barcelona. Oh, that's a good one. Barcelona. Barcelona. Juventus. All right, so there two, we go. Two on Barcelona and one on Juventus. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.